So, Repsol then. Well, there we are, you see, we were talking about the Repsol uh, colour scheme and so on. Well, it's Repsol on that, but it's in the red and white and black colour scheme on the Toyota there of Mark Sherratt. It's in the mid-80s. All of which, very sadly, came to a very abrupt end when the, the formula was uh, abandoned by the FIA. Therefore, all these cars became somewhat redundant, although they all still around and many of them had RS 200s that uh, became extremely popular and successful in rally crosses with, um, with a lot of drivers from Scandinavian in particular. And each car has its problems in maintaining today. I can tell you from certain knowledge that with RS 200s it's fairly easy to get the bodywork repaired, the chassis etc. But if your transmission goes pop, Tony, there aren't any more. So right. they, these guys hope to goodness they never have a transmission problem. I mean, you know, some of them are going to have, so what do they do? Well, it's, it's called hand-building and millions of pounds, I guess, because there are no spare gearboxes. Was the gearbox sort of built specifically for that car then? Or well, there were a few made for spares at the time. Chaparral. Well, Toby, you know, this is a car that I've only ever seen in pictures. I've never seen it move. I saw it static in the car park yesterday. I was just so excited to hear what it sounds like. You know, Jim Hall and the Chaparral team were famous for their uh, wacky out-of-the-box blue sky thinking, and the high wing 2E is perhaps the most evocative of all of his cars. And it's an absolute delight to see it here. This was clever thinking. Blue Sky thinking aerodynamics way, way ahead of its time. Yeah. Way I mean, ahead of its time. It, they they just kind of came up with, with left field ideas for all sorts of different problems.
So he'll drive one and Mike the other. Okay. And However, up oh, do look. <laughs> Just oh. look at this. It's the king. It's Richard Petty in the Plymouth Superbird. That's come over especially from the Petty Museum in America. More than that, been rest restored specially for this event. There's the king with his trademark shades and moustache. It's wow. turning the clock back 45 years. Yeah, seven times NASCAR champion, 200 wins in the top class. That's only 95 more than the next most successful bloke. Uh, and here he is in one of his iconic Superbirds. If you've seen Disney's Cars film, uh, you'll know this machine has been immortalised uh, in, uh, in cinema. And here's the actual guy in the actual car right here in front of us today. That's a Wake me up when this is all over, won't you? <laughs> he, came, he came here before with the, the Plymouth Belvedere. Yes. And this is the... Uh... And he let Emerson Fittipaldi have a go. Yeah. The most incongruous thing I've ever seen. Freddie the King making his way to the top. Uh, catch up with him over the weekend if you can, ladies and gentlemen. He's an absolutely fantastic character. Bruce, uh, Bruce really will be there, won't he? Yeah, he will. With the mic and the cameraman waiting. And the next to the modern stock cars is uh, not far behind as uh, Richard Petty makes his way over the brow of the hill. Thank you. 